Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to sign into Xbox app or if you are unable to sign into Microsoft Store because of this error code that is 0x800-48823, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And then find Microsoft account sign in assistant and then make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click and then click on restart or start and once this is done now you can check still not working type in inetcpl.cpl and then click on inetcpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab scroll down at the bottom here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here and then hit apply make sure that you hit apply and then click on ok now you can try to sign in still not working then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now before performing any troubleshooting steps first of all check xbox status now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now on this website check if all the services are up and running or not so under services here you can see all the services are up and running sometimes we have limited or major outage so if there is any kind of outage from microsoft side you will see it under services right now there is no outage but if you see this limited or major outage under any one of the services that means there is some outage from microsoft side and in that case we have to wait once the outage is over now you can check so make sure all the services are up and running but if all the services are up and running still you are facing the problem in that case follow the next step now the next step is to restart your computer and then try again so simply restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this you can type in gaming services repair tool in google search and then go to xbox support go to microsoft website which says gaming services repair tool for pc and then on this website you will see downloadable version click on it and then scroll down and you will see the download the gaming services repair tool for pc click on it and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and let the process complete once you see completed successfully this may take some time once you see completed successfully now you can check you can do the same thing in the xbox app go to xbox app on the top left you will see a profile icon click on it now go to support and then click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the process complete this will again take some time and once this is done now you can check now still you are facing the problem the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset and this will open microsoft store and then you can check next step is to go to this location this location is provided in the video description so open file explorer on your computer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder now if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the local folder now over here open the packages folder now once you open the packages folder scroll down and then find microsoft xbox identity provider folder so scroll down So here you can see Microsoft Xbox identity provider underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder now open the AC folder now open the token broker folder now over here delete the content of token broker folder so you might see this cash and account folder so delete the content of this token broker folder so make a right click and then click on delete once this is deleted now you can check next step is to turn off sign in automatically option in windows account settings now for this open windows settings and then go to accounts and then scroll down go to sign in options and then scroll down 
under additional settings, you will see an option which says use my sign in info to automatically finish setting up after an update. Now, if this is on, you can turn this off and then check. Now, the next step is to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. So open Microsoft Store on your computer on the top left. Click on your profile icon, then click on sign out and then click on sign in. Now, once you click on sign in, it will show you account. So select the right account. Make sure that you select the account which has the game pass or which has the game. So make sure that you select the correct account and then click on continue. It will be asking for your pin or password. So enter your pin or password over here. Now, once you're logged in, now open Xbox app on your computer. Now go to profile icon on the top left and click on sign out. Over here, you have to log in once again, click on sign in, sign in, and then make sure that you select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. It has to be same account and then click on continue. And then once you're logged in, then you can check. Now, next step is to make sure date, time, time zone, and reason is correct on your computer. So go to Windows settings and then go to time and language and then go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on. Also make sure set time automatically is also on. So make sure both are on and then click on sync now. Click on sync now. Now if you receive any kind of red tick or if it is not syncing, click on sync again. You can try it multiple times and once this is done, now go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure right country your country is selected over here and then you can check next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. And during this process, you will see some errors in red color. So here you can see some errors in red color. So if you see any kind of errors in red color, just ignore it. Let the process complete. And once the process is complete, now you can check. Or you can even restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to run these commands. These commands are also provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator and then run all these commands one by one. So paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now copy the second command, paste it, hit the enter key. Run the third command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now, once this is done and once you're connected to the internet, now you can check. Next step is to start Xbox services. Now, you have to start these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP, help, IP helper in the list. So here you can see IP helper. Make a double click on IP helper, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now, start all the Xbox services. Scroll down at the end here, you can see all these Xbox services. So you have to start all these services. So make a double click on Xbox accessories management, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on okay. Again, make a double click on Xbox live and then set it to automatic again. Apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on okay. Now make a double click on the third Xbox services, set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click on xbox live networking set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find gaming services in the list make sure gaming services are running if not running you can make a right click and then click on start if it's already running in that case you can click on restart again make a right click and then click on restart you can even stop it and then restart. So make a right click, stop this. And then again, make a right click, stop it. And then you can restart it. Click on start. Click on start. 
and this should when you start this this should run automatically now or you can select this and then click on restart on the left top left and once this is done now find microsoft store install service and then make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find windows update in the list once you select windows update make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now once you start all these services now you can check now the next step is to repair or reset xbox app in microsoft store so type in store in windows search box make right click on microsoft store and then click on app settings and then scroll down over here you will see the repair option click on repair after the repair you can check if that does not work you can click on reset reset and after the reset you can check still not working do the same thing with xbox app so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click once again select app settings and do the same thing you have to repair and reset so click on repair and after the repair you can open xbox app and then check if that does not work you can click on reset reset and after the reset you can open xbox app and then check now the next step is to close xbox app open microsoft store log out and log in with same account on microsoft store so if xbox app is open close it in my case it's already closed so close xbox app make sure that you close xbox app from here you have xbox app sometimes over here you have to make a right click and then you have to click on exit and once it is closed now open microsoft store on your computer and once you open microsoft store uh, click on your profile icon and then you have to sign out so if you're logged out in my case i'm already logged out but if you're logged in in that case you have to log out and then click on sign in select the right account click on continue it will be asking for your pin or password enter the pin or password now once you're logged in now you can check now you can open the xbox app and then check now let me open the xbox app and then you can check still not working in that case make sure gaming services and xbox identity provider is installed so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website once again and over here you will see xbox identity provider click on download click on open microsoft store and then if not installed you will see install button over here or get button in my case this is already installed so there is no button to install but if you see get button or install button install it now also uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy this link uh, copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator always open powershell as an administrator Click on yes to allow, paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. Once it is uninstalled, now you have to install the gaming services once again. So copy the second command and then paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store and then you will see the install option to install gaming services. Click on install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now once the gaming services is installed, now you can check now the next step is to delete xbox login credential so type in credential manager in windows search box so type in credential manager in windows search box and then go click on credential manager now go to windows credentials and then scroll down and find this xbl device key or xbl grts device key so let me check in my case i have xbl grts device key so you might see this or this so if you see both you have to delete both if you see only one of them you can delete one of them so here you can see xbl grts device key i will remove this so click on remove and read this are you sure you want to permanently delete this generic credential internet or network address click on yes and once this is done now you can check if that does not work you can restart your computer and then you can check now the next step is to uninstall xbox app 
restart your PC and then reinstall Xbox app. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click and then click on uninstall and then click on uninstall. Once the uninstall is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can open Microsoft Store and then you can install Xbox app from Microsoft Store and then you can open it and then check. If that does not work, again uninstall Xbox app. So type in Xbox app, make a right click and then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer and after the system restart you can go to xbox website so the, the link is provided in the video description so open this link in a browser and you can install xbox app from the web website so here you can see download the app click on download the app and then run this exe file and just follow the on-screen instruction and then you can Install it and then open Xbox app and then check. Next step is to, now if nothing is working, you can update your Windows using Media Creation Tool. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on Accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, Log into your computer. Now, for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also, you will find Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Now and then run this exe file. Click on Yes to allow. Now, this will load Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. Now, click on Accept. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to sign in to Xbox app successfully and you should not receive this error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.